This movie will focus on the draw geologic column command. We'll run it several times for drawing drill holes in 2D sections and also 3D. To do a 2D cross section, the first thing we'll need to draw is just a polyline connecting up holes in a fence line. We'll just do a regular 2D polyline, do my object snap to center. Make sure O snap is on center and connect up the drill holes you'd like to draw on your cross section. Then run the command draw geologic column found on, under the drill hole menu. We'll draw them on a 2D grid and we'll project them horizontally. That means it's going to project them the proper distance away from each other or down the line. We don't have it on a fence diagram right now which is a cross section through the grids. Horizontal scale is 100, vertical scale 20. That'll be a 5x vertical. The column width scalar will be half times, times 100 will give you 50 wide on the drill holes. We will draw the strata connections to connect up selected strata. We will label strata name, we'll label the bed name, we'll label bottom elevations, and we'll do a solid fill on the hatch. You could also just click the hatch button and then it would use the predefined hatch as an underdefined strata. Choose OK and select the fence alignment polyline. And then it looks away from the polyline. This distance will enter for 50 and select the drill holes to analyze and it finds any drill hole within 50. Let's go ahead and label some BTU and ASH next to the holes. And let's see, we'll do the C4. Use your control button to highlight C5 and C6 if it's there. Maybe there's a C3 in a hole too. Hit OK. And zoom out and pick a location. Alright, there's a nice cross section through the drill holes. The blue is the C4. The magenta is C5. And there's a little bit of C3 seams connected there. And if it was a core hole that had quality, the quality is labeled on the left side of the seam. Here it is, ash and BTU. So that's a nice quick way to do the draw geologic column down the sections. The coloring and the hatches and the layers is set up with the define strata. And you can see I have that predefined here. Colors and layers. Go ahead and exit that. That's under drill hole defined strata. We'll run it again now in 3D. And look at the holes in 3D. We'll go to drill hole. Draw geologic column, and one click at the top is in 3D, and check, take a look at the 3D options. We'll just do it as a cylinder, and we won't do any vertical exaggeration, and then set this back to 100, 100. That way you draw them in 3D at true scale. No other change, hit OK, except I, I'll turn off draw strata connections. That's not applicable to 3D drill holes. And let's just zoom in and, and pick, say, a group of about eight or nine right there. We don't need to label any of that. And now you can see it's drawing them straight into the window in 3D. Now there's several ways to view it. First option we'll go with just the AutoCAD orbit. You can type in orbit, tip it up, and there they are in 3D. And you can do the AutoCAD shade command to take a look at it that way. Back to 2D, back to plan view. Next thing we'll do is use the Carlson viewer. 3D viewer window. Grab the contours and the drill holes. Increase the brightness. This does have a vertical scale. You can exaggerate them in 3D to look at it a little bit better. And there are the drill holes in 3D. You can rotate around and analyze the geology further at this point. So this concludes the draw geologic column. There's many, many, many other options to, for example, draw and fence diagram. You can change your scales, change your hatches, all sorts of options here. And also under the label options, control what is labeled at the column header and in for the drill hole.